yeah, we back. We back. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be giving my commentary on the whole Cat Williams situation. Now, I was not going to cover the whole Cat Williams situation because I feel like as a society, we place way too much emphasis and put way too much spotlight on the black men who are entertainers, comedians, ball players, dancers, singers, things like that. And we fail to give the same amount of acknowledgement to the black men who are scientists, intellectuals, captains of industry. But that's a topic for another day. I want to give my commentary on the whole Kevin Hart situation, what he said about Kevin Hart. In the interview between Shannon Sharp and Cat Williams, he said that Kevin Hart was a plant, an industry plant. And when someone makes the allegation that somebody is an industry plant, what you are basically saying is this person's documented rise to success has completely been manufactured and fabricated. When Cat Williams makes the allegation that Kevin Hart is an industry plant, he's no longer in the realm of judging whether he is a decent comedian or not because that's a different conversation we can talk about if kevin hart is funny or not whatever whatever but when you say he's an industry plant you are now discrediting the work that that man has put in you are now discrediting the amount of hours and the amount of grind he put in to get to where he is today so today i want to address that and i'm going to use some clips some responses made from other comedians such as Corey holcomb donnell rollins etc etc uh giving their opinion on the situation giving their thoughts on the situation and uh yeah man but before we get into that i'm gonna play the clip from cat williams from his interview with shannon sharp and i'll be right back let's go in 15 years in hollywood no one in hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out kevin hart show there being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club he already had his deals when he got here have we heard of a comedian that came to la and in his first year in la he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called soul plane that he was leading no we've never heard of that before that person or since that person what what do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. All right, we back. Now, let's get into it. Let's attack that subject of Kevin Hart being an industry plant. Now, what is an industry plant? An industry plant is someone who is self-explanatory, someone who is planted by the industry, someone who has hidden connections with some hidden hands behind the scenes, placing them in certain spots to advance their career. And the biggest indication of somebody who is an industry plant is somebody who does not have an organic and strong fan base. When you come out to perform, nobody even shows up. When you put out an album, nobody even buys the album, nobody plays the album. That is an industry plant. I've been alive for 28 years. Kevin Hart has been active for my entire life, damn near. I remember hearing about Kevin Hart when I was in the third grade. I remember watching Kevin Hart on Comedy Central when he was dressing like this. You could tell he had no money, right? And Kevin Hart, like I said, he didn't really blow up for real. He didn't really blow up and become mega worldwide superstar Kevin Hart until I was in like the 10th grade, 9th, 10th grade. That was when Kevin Hart blew up, right? So to say Kevin Hart is an industry plant, listen, man, listen, bro, you got to relax. Cat Williams, you got to relax. You got to relax, man. You got to relax. Now, if you want to have a debate on whether Kevin Hart is funny or not, if you want to if you want to believe that he's one of the goats or not, that's a that's a different discussion. But when you are saying that that black man is an industry plant and he did not grind for everything that he has, nigga, you want you want some goofy shit now. Now you, now you want some bozo shit, but that's why I say we give these black men who are entertainers and you know court jesters and you know goofy ass niggas we give them so much of the spotlight when they really shouldn't be having all this spotlight but anyways i'm gonna jump into some of the uh the commentary from Corey holcomb and donna rollins giving their thoughts on kevin hart and i'm gonna come back with my commentary man run the footage let's go let me tell y'all motherfuckers something man i was hanging with kevin hart when he was driving a raggedy ass jeep out here in california i was with kevin hart when him and tori was um a new couple out here in LA, nigga. So, you know, he said the brother a plant. Yeah. All I'm saying, before that nigga got some money, I was, shit, I, I, man, I picked Kevin Hart up, took him to the airport one day. Yeah. That type of shit, I'm saying. How you try to discredit anybody's hustle? It was said that Kevin Hart is a plant. Kevin Hart didn't put the work in. But I would say, and this is not taking any sides. I don't want to play that shit because at the end of the day, I'm a funny motherfucker myself. But I remember a young Kevin Hart. I remember a Kevin Hart that used to commute from Philadelphia to New York every night. I remember Kevin Hart that started doing some of the ghetto rooms. I seen Kevin Hart come up to New York every night, work the most ghetto spots, and also had the opportunity to work some mainstream spots, had the opportunity to cross over, not sell out, and that's what people understand, to cross over. I remember Kevin Hart and his boy Nate Smith, who was one of the biggest uh, 
biggest um, promoters in the North Carolina area went hand to hand, filling out comment cards, getting email addresses, building the following, going from city to city. Kevin had people follow his journey. The reason why people love him is because he let people be a part of what he's doing and he made a, he made a way for himself. The thing that I respect, when you see how Kevin moves, you see his entourage, you see the people around him, guess what? 90% of those people are people that are black. And not just doing favors for people because they're black, not just doing favors for people because they're friends, but people that are in a position that can hold their own. Every interview I've ever seen, and when, when Kevin talks about his success, when Kevin talks about how much, not how much money he makes, but one interview he said, it's no fun being wealthy if you're not sharing it with your friends. And I personally know that in his crew, he's put a lot of people in position to win. Now we back, take a look up on the screen. Now what this brother said is kinda, it summarizes how I feel about the situation as well. He said, the industry plan thing never made sense because even after he did Soul Plane, Kevin Hart's career did not pop off until like 2012. Right, so Kevin Hart been moving and shaking since the early 2000s, probably before, probably the late 90s, right? He didn't really start, he didn't, he didn't become mega superstar, household name, worldwide, selling out the stadium, Kevin Hart, until the early to mid 2010s. So that's at least a decade plus of grinding. And like I said before, black men are very charismatic, so we can say things that have zero correlation with reality, and because we said it passionately and charismatically, niggas think we say in facts. But Cat Williams, you gotta relax. You gotta relax, my nigga. I can see through that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we could have a debate over who's funny or who's not, but we're not gonna start discrediting the success and hard work of another black man. We're not doing that shit, bro. And the major reason for Kevin Hart's success, which is true for many people in the entertainment industry, is the fact that he decided to dive into other sectors, other business ventures that was able to give him different revenue streams, which is why he is the mega multi-millionaire Kevin Hart. He did not get all his money. Of course, the bulk of his money comes from comedy, but due to the fact that he branched out into the business world, that is a large reason why he's built the empire that he has today. And there's a lot of things that black men can learn from Kevin Hart besides the telling jokes type of shit. Like I said, to me, that's court jester bullshit, and we shouldn't really pay attention to entertainers the way we do. But besides that, Kevin Hart, the businessman. Kevin Hart, the man with the exceptional work ethic. It's a lot of things that black men can learn from Kevin Hart. Many people might not know this, but Kevin Hart is actually the CEO of his own venture capital firm. Kevin Hart is also the CEO of two production companies. Kevin Hart is a New York Times bestselling author. When Kevin Hart goes on tour, he's coming back home with at least $50 million, and that's being generous. To be honest, he's probably coming back home with closer to $100 million. And if you ask me, I don't believe he's accomplishing this because he's the funniest guy in the room. In my honest opinion, I'm not really the biggest fan of the family-friendly comedy. I feel like when Kevin Hart was on a come up, he was more, you know, that was my Kevin Hart on the come up. But once he started making the big money and he became family friendly, I mean, he became commercial. I'm not really the biggest fan, but I cannot diminish his success because I'm not a big fan of the comedy. That's where they get it fucked up about Kevin Hart. The same thing applies to Drake. I'm not the biggest fan of Drake, especially now that I know that he doesn't even write his own raps. I'm not the biggest fan of Drake per se, but I cannot diminish the man's success. I cannot say he's an industry plant. Whenever he goes on tour, nigga, he's selling out the arena. He's shutting down the city. I can't say that Drake is an industry plant. I cannot say that Kevin Hart is an industry plant. Now, do I support everything Kevin Hart has done? No, because I've seen a commercial that he did with Shaquille O'Neal. Man, that shit was ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? That shit was ridiculous. But regardless of that fact, there's no way you can call Kevin Hart an industry plant. Somebody who was an industry plant cannot sell out arenas. Somebody who was an industry plant cannot drop a book and become a New York Times bestseller. Kevin Hart come to your city right now, nigga, it's gonna be a line around the fucking corner. This shit gonna be sold out before you can buy a ticket. So we gotta stop, you know, come on, man. Like, you know, black men are so adversarial against each other, man. And to be honest, all of y'all are involved or intertwined in the Hollywood system. Ain't none of, none of y'all some big bossy shot callers like that. I mean, Kevin Hart, the closest thing to a boss in the industry. Maybe Tyler Perry. But besides that, ain't none of y'all got no big movie studios, no big production companies doing it big like that. All y'all some workers trying to get gigs in Hollywood, trying to get roles in Hollywood. When I was listening to Cat Williams' interview, you i could tell i could tell he really wanted to be the big man in hollywood he's really upset that the white folks in hollywood didn't give him his proper shine and just do you know the white man didn't give him the roles and he didn't get his recognition in the hollywood system but i'm gonna tell cat williams the same thing i told jonathan majors you shouldn't be stressing about that hollywood shit you should want to establish your own system black men should have our own equivalent economy that can rival the hollywood system with our own movie studios our own production companies the same shit you see kevin hart doing the same shit you see tyler perry doing and i'm not a fan of tyler perry movies i never even watched a single tyler perry movie but i've never seen tyler perry hop on social media crying like taraji p henson because oh man the white man not paying me enough the white man not giving me enough money i never seen tyler perry hop on the internet talking about 
such and such is an industry plant, such and such didn't put in no work. That's some hating ass shit. That's some goofy shit. To me, it sounds like you wanted that man's spot, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I mean, Kevin Hart, he the big dog in the industry. Big dog status. When he comes to your city, he's shutting it down. And that wasn't because the white man planted him inside the industry. No, that's because Kevin Hart is a black man that gets up at like 4 in the morning and then goes to sleep at like 2 in the morning. Kevin Hart is a black man that has a routine, has a schedule, has a work ethic that is out of this world. He's documented it. Like I said, I've been watching Kevin Hart my whole goddamn life since I was in like the second grade. He's documented his rise to success. He's brought you along the journey. Do I think he's the funniest? Not really. Like I said, not a fan of family friendly comedy. Do I think he works harder than all y'all niggas? Oh yeah, oh yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. And besides the work ethic and dedication and routine that Kevin Hart has that all black men can emulate, something else I've always admired about Kevin Hart is the fact that no matter the situation, he's always a professional. You've never seen him jump out of character. You always see him protect his brand. He's very conscious of protecting his brand, protecting what he's built. For example, if I was Kevin Hart, and Cat Williams said, oh, this nigga's an industry plant. This nigga didn't work for shit. This nigga, this nigga a fraud. And on top of that, I heard that Cat Williams is bringing Kevin Hart's ex-wife on tour with him. If I, yo, bro, I don't have the amount of professionalism inside of me that Kevin Hart does. I would have been snapped on this nigga. For example, look at the paparazzi running down on Kevin Hart, asking him what he thinks about his ex-wife going on tour with Cat Williams, who just called him an industry plant, called him a fraud. And now his ex-wife, the mother of his kids, saying that, nigga, we going on tour with Cat Williams. Look at how... Look at how Kevin Hart responded to the paparazzi. Run the footage. Everybody the win. I love everybody. I love that. Once again, you know, your ex-wife is going on tour with Kat. I want everybody to win. I hope the tour is great. I love that. So you are- Listen, man. The average black man would have been crashed out on Cat Williams if they were in Kevin Hart's position. But what I'm talking about on this video, it goes beyond comedy. It goes beyond telling jokes. Nigga, that's court jester bullshit. I'm talking about being a man of discipline, being a man of work ethic, being a man who has a vision and achieves your vision. Kevin Hart, it's a lot we can learn from Kevin Hart, man. Even in how he responded to Cat Williams last week, he said this, you gotta get that anger up out you, champ. It's honestly sad. But in the meantime, please enjoy my new movie dropping, in, dropping on Netflix in eight days. You know, and that sums up Kevin Hart, man. Brother is just a professional. He's a professional. You know what I mean? He's a man of discipline, a man of work ethic, a man of, a man of high performance. And it's a lot black men can learn from that. It's a lot black men can learn from that. If every black man had the work ethic and the dedication and discipline of Kevin Hart, Man, listen, we be on top of the world, man. We be running this shit, bro, for real. We be running this shit, bro. If every black man had the emotional composure of a Kevin Hart, man, listen, things would be a lot different, bro. Things would be a lot different. Remove the comedy from the, I'm not, I don't care about who tells the best joke, nigga. I don't give a fuck about that bullshit. As black men, we need to learn to be able to give respect and honor to each other where it's deserved, man. We gotta learn to stop belittling each other where it's not necessary, bro. We need to stop being so adversarial to each other, man. And as the crowd, as the audience, we need to stop encouraging that bullshit so much, bro. You know, black men going back and forth with black men. Black men going in on black men. Stupid shit. All y'all some Hollywood niggas anyway. You know what I'm saying? All y'all some Hollywood niggas anyway. So stop it. Y'all niggas, like Kevin Hart and Tyler Perry, the only big niggas with production studios and all that type of shit. The rest of y'all niggas is some workers. You know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up, nigga. Anyways, man, it's a winner for Car. That's the lane back in the Billy. Yes, indeed. Cash app up on the screen, and I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in the original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. No, they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling attention. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making ambition. I'm blessed by the guys, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art, and it can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you in Run to the check and I do it for sport Babylon falling, I go to the source Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so at least Shorty be chugged and I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me Don't fuck with brands cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces